yo yo Bonjour à tous Désolé quand j'ai appuyé pour remettre ma scène euh, Ça a activé euh, Bienvenue pour un nouvel épisode de euh, Unmetal, Sur le jeu Unmetal euh, Toujours avec notre ami Jesse Fox La dernière fois qu'on s'était laissé euh, On était en train de s'échapper Il y avait des... Des militaires qui étaient en train de faire une, une course, une ronde. J'ai la boussole, ok. Je ne sais plus comment on veut. D'accord. Ok. Là, vous voyez les poulets. D'accord. des balles j'ai du soin et j'ai ça attendez je vais juste faire ça Ça m'a remis là. Non, bah c'est là. Bah, je me suis. Bah, je devais pas sauvegarder dans l'autre côté. Je croyais que j'avais sauvegardé de l'autre côté. Bon, bref. C'est pas grave. Je suis Jesse Fox. Ah, il va venir. Ah non. Je sais que je peux utiliser le pot. Non, c'est pas là. Eh, hey, j'ai plus besoin de la boussole. Eh, 
Et j'allais dire quand est-ce qu'il passe le coureur là J'attends les coureurs. C'est à quoi les pochettes de munitions D'accord. Jacker here. Ghost, do you copy? Who the hell are you? Huh? Who are you? Where is Ghost? I don't know who that is. I think you got the wrong channel. Oops. Ugin must have been tampering with the communicator. Damn geeks. Over and out. Alors, je ne sais pas si c'est un méchant qu'on va rencontrer ou si c'est une référence à... que je n'ai pas. de PV max ou 30% de dégâts en plus avec le pistolet euh... ah. alors je sais plus ce que j'ai pris dans l'épisode 2 que dans l'épisode 2 on s'était arrêté là je sais plus ce que j'ai pris en durant je crois on va avoir plus de vie on va prendre ça J'aurais dû prendre plus de vie, mais... Inside that barrack, there were some guards. I didn't see them because they were sitting behind some bunk beds, slipping out of guard duty, or running around the compound, or worse. But thanks to my extraordinary hearing acuity, I could hear their conversation. Okay, when you enter the dungeon, 
Two skeletons with rusty axes block your way. The eerie red light that glimmers in their eye sockets? Someone just walked in. Fuck. <laughs> euh, C'est vrai que je vais pas chercher le truc là-bas parce qu'après ils vont, ils vont me griller. Je suis sûr qu'il y avait un truc secret là-haut euh, en haut à droite. J'ai pas envie de recommencer tout ce que j'ai fait. Est-ce que... Too empty. I needed to be relaxed with no close threats or alarms. D'accord, donc en gros, je peux pas. Ah non, il m'avait vu. Ah, je peux même plus sortir. Before peeing, I put all of the knocked out guards inside. I didn't want them to be discovered and have the alarm sounded while I was making a deposit. Intérieur de quoi Oh non, non. Ça me saoule, chaque fois que je veux sauvegarder, ça veut pas. Puis quand je les amène, il dit ouais, je peux pas le faire avec eux, machin. Ah oui, d'accord. As I walked in, I ran into a soldier. The guy was so hammered that he confused me with one of his buddies. Hey, Mike, you want a drink? Uh, no thank you. I don't drink when I escape. Hold on, you're not Mike. No, I'm Fox, Jesse Fox. You're the prisoner? I would escape too, if I could. Why? To see my daughter. It turns out that he had a little daughter, who he hadn't seen in three years. Every year he requests leave to go see her, and every year his drill sergeant rejects it. Poor man. So, in a week, the daughter was turning six, and Mike requested leave again. And yet, again, the drill sergeant rejected it. Which was why he was drowning his sorrows. Until he knocked himself out.
expliquer ce que je dois pas faire. Hein. Hop. Je vais attendre que les coups. Euh, les coqueux. Euh, ils me verront pas derrière le camion. Pas monter dans le camion. Maintenant, je peux sauvegarder. Before peeing, I put all of the knocked out guards inside. I didn't want them to be discovered and have the alarm sounded while I was making a deposit. Before peeing, I put all of the knocked out Ouais. Ça m'a saoulé. I ran into a guard as I went in. He was urinating. Please don't tell me you pissed that guard off while he was urinating. I couldn't. Someone beat me to it. What the hell are you doing, scumbag? Sir, I'm peeing, sir. Did you wash your hands? Uh, no, sir. I'll wash them when I'm done, sir. Are you touching your dick with your dirty hands? How can you be such a pig? Hands are washed before! Not after peeing! Sir, yes sir. Why did you stop peeing, scumbag? Sir, I ran out of pee, sir. What a pussy! <laughs> Who do you think you are, a fucking civil? A soldier continues peeing even if his balls are empty. Now get the hell out of here! Sir, yes sir. Sergeant, there's someone behind you. Fuck, soldier, did I tell you to look behind me? Uh, no sir. Then why the hell are you looking behind me? Here, you don't look, listen, or speak, unless I tell you to do it! Understood? Sir, yes sir. That damn drill sergeant acted tough with his men, but he ended up crying like a baby with me. Who the fuck are you? And where the hell is your uniform? Um. Un lessive perdu, vo volé. It's been stolen, sir. Someone broke into my locker and took it. And who the hell was it? Euh, loyal, Mike, indice. Euh, comment ça, indice? We still don't know his identity, sir, but we have a clue. What clue, you fuck? We know he was born. Bras, année, endroit. In the same state you were, sir. So that son of a bitch is from Texas. Hold on, you're telling me you're from Texas? Only two things come out of Texas: steers and queer. <laughs> I don't see any horns, so you must be a queer. Me? A queer? Why, you little? Of course you are. What? That's not true. You sure? The whole base is talking about your brown eye. No! No! I'm not! Just as he started to tear up, I helped old Blue Eyes kiss the canvas. Boss defeated! Sam! What the fuck, girl? Thanks, dude. Oh, I mean. Freeze, or I'll shoot! What the hell are you doing, scumbag? Aiming at you with my weapon. Fuck, soldier, did I tell you to aim your weapon at me? Uh, no, sir. Then why the hell are you aiming your fucking weapon at me? Here you don't look, listen, or speak unless I tell you to do it. Understood? Sir, yes, sir. Did you wash your hands before aiming your weapon at me, scumbag? Uh, no, sir. <laughs> Fuck, how can you be such a pig? Get the hell out of here. Sir, yes, sir. I left that scumbag on the floor. Uh, 
Ah oui, mais j'ai ça. I couldn't stamp the form until I found an ink pad or a tampon. D'accord. Before peeing, I put all of the knocked out guards inside. I didn't want them to be discovered and have the alarm. Vas-y, ouais, c'est bon. Ça ça m'a saoulé ça. Chaque fois que je veux sauvegarder, euh, je peux pas. Euh, par contre, les coureurs, ah ouais, j'allais dire. As I entered one of the barracks, I saw that it was different from the others. First off, it had its own urinal. Moreover, it had an office desk. I figured it was the drill sergeant's quarters. I had plenty of time because I was sure he was still indisposed in the bathroom. The desk had stacks of papers and an ink pad chained onto it. Voilà. Tamponné. Before peeing, I put all of the knocked out guards inside. Ça, ça m'énerve ce, 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 ce truc là. là. Bon. J'attends que les coureurs passent et j'y go. returned the stamped permission form to the same pocket I found it in. That soldier was going to have a fucking great surprise when he woke up. Bah ouais, comme ça au moins il va pouvoir aller voir sa sa petite fille. Enfin sa fille. Et voilà, et j'ai fait le con. Ça, oh, et je recommence depuis le début. Ah non, tout ce que j'ai fait Oh putain Ça m'énerve ça C'est pour ça que je comprends pas comment on fait pour sauvegarder. J'aurais dû sauvegarder dans, dans le barrack. Oh mais je sais même, même pas si je peux bar... sauvegarder dans le barrack. Putain...
Ouais, oh, vas-y, c'est bon. Ne ah saoule. Ce passage là me saoule en fait. Allez, on se motive. J'ai appuyé sur le bouton. J'appuie, je suis arrivé, j'ai fait ça. Jacker here. Ghost, do you come?
sad up. Too empty. I needed to be relaxed, with no close threats or alarm. Normalement il, il me voit pas, je suis derrière des caisses. As I walked in, I ran uh... I left him on the ground. Secondhand alcohol is hard to wash out. Ran into a guard as I went. Allez, ça on sait. Who the fuck are you? And where the hell is your uniform? It's been stolen, sir. Someone broke into my locker and took it. And who the hell was it? We still don't know his identity, sir, but we have a clue. What clue, you fuck? We know he was born. In the same state you were, sir. So that son of a bitch is from Texas. Hold on. You're telling me you're from Texas? Only two things come out of Texas. Steers and queers. I don't see any horns, so you... <coughs> Boss defeated. I left that scumbag on the floor. Before peeing, I put all of the knocked out guard. As I entered one of the barracks, I saw... The desk had stacks of paper. Before peeing, I put all of the knocked out guards inside. 
I didn't want them to be discovered and have the alarm sounded while I was making a... Before peeing, I... Ouais, mais il dit ça, puis quand je, quand je le mets à l'intérieur, il dit ouais, je peux pas. Euh... All... Ah, je pense qu'il il, il veut pas, c'est parce que euh, c'est à cause des des mecs qui courent. Euh... Est-ce que si je le fous dehors? Et que j'utilise le pot. Non, ça veut pas. Faut que j'attends que les... les coureurs reviennent. parti voilà I returned the stamped permission form to the same Toujours pas. J'essaie de pas me faire griller là. On va essayer de jouer. Euh... De jouer fine, mais. Mec m'a vu. J'attends que les coureurs et voilà, ils arrivent. dans la merde. Bon, j'ai eu des grenades. Quoi Non, il peut pas me voir. Before moving forward, I ensured that every unconscious guard was hauled into a barracks. It was imperative that they not be discovered to avoid exposing my rear guard. Before moving forward, I ensured that every unconscious guard was hauled into a barracks. It was imperative. 
Quoi On est laissé Tant que je réfléchis. Tout Non, dis-moi pas que je dois, je dois taper les, les mecs qui courent. Ah, les mecs qui, qui rondent là Non, c'est pas possible. Je peux pas le faire, c'est impossible. Non, attends, je vais aller voir si je... Attends, par là. Et bah ben, où il passe Ils ne peuvent pas me voir, je suis derrière un camion dans... Là je l'ai planqué. Ah ce serait lui Je sais qu'il en reste deux euh, en, en promenade, mais est-ce que les, les six mecs ils comptent Parce que si les six mecs ils comptent, ils, ils comptent. Euh, non, ça va pas le. Les huit mecs ils comptent. Si s'ils si comptent, ça va pas aller. Je vais pas. Je pourrais pas le faire. Je peux pas. Euh, je sais pas comment je vais faire pour défoncer les, les mecs, mais. Euh... Comment ça se fait qu'il y en a trois de nouveaux là
the alarm was raised. The platoons must have found one of the guards I knocked out. I had to cover my tracks better. Quoi? Oh non, non, mais là c'est... Non, c'est dégueulasse. C'est dégueulasse. C'est quoi ce délire Mais non, pourquoi j'ai... Pourquoi j'ai fait ça Face, escaping prisoner. I tried Send to head up. east, but I couldn't. Why not? There was a painted line on the ground. And a simple line stopped you? This was no mere simple line. It was full of tentacles. Okay, okay, Mr. Fox. You could not cross that line. Let's just focus on what happened in the opposite direction. Ah, désolé, je... Je suis trompé de bouton. Attends, ici je peux sauvegarder. Commence bien. Hein. Ça, ça va faire une heure que je suis dessus. Euh. Faut pas abuser non plus. Jacker here. Ghost. Face, escaping prisoner. Send back. <laughs> Parce que j'en ai marre, je veux aller vite. Non seulement j'en ai marre pour moi, mais j'en ai marre pour vous aussi. J'ai jamais galéré sur euh, dans ce jeu à part sur cette phase. -là. Thank <laughs> you. 
Jacker here. Ghost. Mais il faut pas qu'il y ait de garde renversée à l'extérieur, d'accord. Inside that barrack, there were some guards. Bon, il veut plus se claquer contre le mur. Pas grave. Enfin, pas claquer, plaquer. Allez, ce coup-ci, hein. Parce que là il y a un, un boss qui m'attendait en plus. Ouais je le savais. Je savais qu'il allait me mettre dans la merde. Ça me saoule. Je suis saoulé. Là, là, je... Euh, attendez. Là, clairement, j'ai envie de m'énerver. J'avais oublié que j'avais ma... Ma soundboard pour... Euh... Je suis pas content. Allez, on attend. J'espère qu'après ça va rouler, hein, parce que là... Euh... Déjà dans l'ancienne épisode, dans l'épisode 2, j'ai galéré. Là dans, là, dans cet épisode-là, euh... je galère. Non mais attends...
Jacker here. Ghost. Do you Ouais, je crois que les problèmes que j'ai eu, c'est avec le mec qui est juste au-dessus, là. avec lui le fait que je l'avais laissé là-bas dehors et que je l'avais pas caché je crois que c'est ça qui m'a qui m'a empêché de sauvegarder As I walked.
I ran into it. Who the fuck are you? And where the hell is your uniform? It's been stolen, sir. We still don't know his identity. In the same state you were, sir. Yeah. Boss defeated. Voilà. J'ai réglé mon problème. Donc c'était ça. As I entered one of the barracks, the desk had stacks of papers. Returned the stamped. C'est parti. Je pense que je vais avoir besoin de ça. Et de ça. Euh, ouais, et de ça. Peut-être pas des grenades, peut-être du flingue, je sais pas. Je vais voir. Machine Gun Mike. Hide as much as you want. Those sandbags won't last very long. Ok, c'est ça. Bah c'est pas grave, je suis mort mais c'est pas grave, c'est ça. Hop, c'est ce que je devais faire. Il 
as you want. Those sandbags won't last very long. <laughs> as you want those sand <laughs> Pas, hein. Hop. Putain, il, il donne pas qu'on aide Bon, ça donne plus de grenades, c'est pas grave. I arrived at the northern parking lot. There were trucks and containers all over the place. I wanted to hide in the right truck. Serial number 233980. But Machine Gun Mike could be waiting for me, seeking revenge. What the fuck? <laughs> Come on, folks! Try tossing your puny grenades now! Machine Gun Mike? Nope. Now I go by the name Splash Mike. Why Splash? Because I'm going to splash your entrails all over the place. <laughs> Que j'ai ramassé oh, ça Non J'ai jeté une pièce Merde j'ai plus de roquettes Ça, ça fait mal ça. It was a sturdy tank. Rockets barely scratched the paint job. But why didn't you attack it from behind? It's the weak point of many models. I was testing its entire surface armor. I concluded that every side was strong. Except the rear. Oh no. J'ai plus de roquette. J'ai une roquette. Ah oui, j'ai vu plus de vie. Tac. On va enlever ça. 
On va remettre ça. Puis on va attendre que la vie remonte. Parce que forcément, je n'avais plus de vie. À moins que ma vie remonte pendant la phase de dialogue Je sais pas. On va voir. I arrived at the northern non. parking lot. There were tra What the fuck? Dirty tank. Rockets barely scratched the paint job. But why didn't you attack it? Oh, comme ça, moi. J'ai vu le dialogue. You. Non, ça va, ça se passe. Le mec il passe à la mitraille Level up Kit de premier secours max plus 4 Vous endormez les gardes deux fois plus rapidement Et vous les traînez plus vite Ah oh bah c'est ça qu'il me faut After dealing with the tank I found the truck and hid inside The driver showed up a few minutes later and unknowingly ate at my escape. And the military didn't find it weird that everything in the northern parking lot was destroyed? Who knows? Maybe it's a regular occurrence. But the truck driver must have seen all that destruction. Well, you know how military grunts are. 
They only think when ordered to. Stage complete. Bon, j'ai pas eu le secret. Et j'ai obtenu toute l'expérience. Partie 6. So, in the end, you escaped, hidden on that truck? Yep. What about the shit you told me about not escaping in a truck to prevent pollution? Because the first time, it would have been me behind the wheel. This time, the truck was going to leave, with or without me. Which means the pollution wasn't my fault. How convenient. Fox, do you copy? Hey, it's the Concrete Paparazzi. <laughs> concrete Paparazzi. Ha, <laughs> such an asshole. But I like it. How's that escape of yours going? Making progress. I'm currently stowed away in a truck. Communications are hot. You really pissed them off, Fox. I guess we're both gifted with pissing people off. Sorry about the concrete joke, by the way. Nah, don't worry about it. Better to have a sense of humor about being jailed over some concrete blocks. By the way, you haven't seen them, right? I've seen concrete everywhere, Robert. But nothing as big as you mentioned. Ah, well. Send a postcard when you get home, my friend. Definitely. Over and out. The truck stopped at last. Its destination was a small port owned by the clandestine base. Looked like the truck was carrying packages to be transported by sea. As we arrived, I overheard a conversation between the driver and a hangar officer. Are you gonna tell me what the fuck you're bringing me at this time of night? Sir, I have an order to send this load by sea. Fuck! You're waking me up for this? I already told your officer. All maritime operations are cancelled. We're waiting for the nuclear warheads to arrive. And we won't ship anything else until there's a new order. Hold on, you said nuclear warheads? Yes, that's what I heard them say. God save us. That's impossible. You sound just like the Colonel. Colonel Harris, are you there? Here I am, son. You sound tense. Are you all right? Where are you? I escaped in a truck. I'm now in a hangar at a port. That's great news. Find a phone and call. Not so fast, Colonel. It's an ex-army port. I'm not safe yet. I have new information about Operation Jericho. Just overheard a conversation. Sounds like they're waiting for... nuclear warheads. Nuclear warheads? That's impossible. Are you certain? That's what I heard. This can't be. You just can't pluck nuclear weapons out of thin air. They're extensively regulated. Is it possible they stole them? Yeah, we don't have any news about any theft in any country. If they were stolen, either a country hid the fact or it happened while I was captive here. Is it possible to build them? These people have a lot of resources. They need radioactive material and it can't be freely obtained. Not to mention a big lab and highly skilled people to produce them. Whatever the case, they managed to acquire some. If that's true, son, we're screwed. Hold on, Colonel. I heard something. Crap, they started the engine. I'll call you later. I have to jump out before the truck drives off. Close the door! Alors, tac. Non, ça. Ça, et c'est bon. Thank you. 
prisoner. Leonard, not Mike. These guys were Leonard's. Mike doesn't fit engineers. Quick, call for backup. So they get the credit? No way. I'm fed up with them making fun of us just because we're engineers. You're right, Leonard. They treat us like nobodies because we don't carry a rifle. Our weapon is our intellect. To the controls. We'll tell them we saw the prisoner. <laughs> Activating radial saw. Guys, you're engineers. Don't play soldiers with me, okay? I won't hurt you. Come on, let me pass. I'll give you some trading cards. Eat a dick. Fine. I don't know what you have on those computers, but any unsaved work is going to get lost. The saws were controlled by the terminals. I only had to destroy them, and with all the noise in the hangar, a few explosions wouldn't draw any attention. But I had to be careful not to kill the engineers, and heal them in case they got injured. Oh mais non, j'ai appuyé sur le mauvais bouton. Ah, j'ai écouté. <rire> J'étais en train de réfléchir en plus. J'ai refait la même connerie. Pourquoi j'appuie sur ce bouton J'ai voulu recharger en fait. Attends, je fais comment Faut que j'éclate les trois Je vais rechercher mes kits. Hein. Voilà.
Il y a un truc, je comprends pas, j'envoyais les grenades, mais ça, ça n'envoyait pas les grenades. Enfin, je les ai mal envoyées en tout cas. Oh là là. Ah oh non Je vais rechercher des, des trousses hein, parce qu'ils vont me refaire le, le même coup en bas. Je le sens. Still trying to figure out how to get out of here. 
By the way, guess what? They have a mini rescue submarine. Rescue? <laughs> These people don't look like they go around rescuing people. I'm getting inside to have a look. Maybe I can ride it out of here. I inspected the mini submarine before I left. Fiddling with the controls, levers, and compartments, I managed to discover the submarine's logbook. It contained details about its last mission, a rescue operation. The details didn't catch my attention at first, but this logbook turned out to hold exactly the answers we were looking for. Did you find anything, Fox? I found a logbook with a single recorded mission. It says, Mission, Deep Rescue, Successfully Completed. Return date, fuck, a week ago. I'll continue reading. Rescue in the Barents Sea. Objective, Submarine K-278 Komsomolets. Damn it, the Komsomolets. Have you heard of it? Of course. It's a Soviet submarine that sank after catching fire. But I can't think of any connection between these scum and the Soviets. Maybe they're a Russian faction and went to rescue their comrades. Or they could be trying to trade the crewmen for Russian nukes or something. Fox, this wasn't a rescue mission. But the log says... The Komsomol had sank over a year ago. There's not a soul alive down there. It's not people they were hauling. It was something else. Colonel, what was the sub armed with? As far as I know, two nuclear torpedoes. Fuck! There it is. The nuclear warheads for Operation Jericho. Kindly donated by the Soviet Union in a game of Finders Keepers. If what you say is true, they had to bring those torpedoes in by sea and take them to a lab. The whole Comsolots have been contaminated by the radiation. Which means they would need a sarcophagus. A sarcophagus? Like the one for Tutankhamun? Did you smoke something, Colonel? Don't be an idiot, Fox. <laughs> a sarcophagus is something that confines radiation, preventing everyone from dying while they transport the goods. It has to be something thick, heavy. Like two huge concrete blocks. Fuck, I have to call Robert. Fox, wait. What's up, Colonel? I hear footsteps. Soldiers are walking down the hall. Damn it. I think my time is up. Listen to me carefully, son. The situation is critical. You have to escape as soon as possible and call the Cavalier. Understood? The fate of countless people rests on you, Fox. Colonel Harris out. That was my final communication with Colonel Harris. Jesse here. Do you copy? I hear you. Fox, looks like you're gonna transfer a prisoner. Someone called Alan Harris. I know. Do you know what they plan to do? No idea, Fox. But looks like the orders are coming from top brass. You're really pissing them off, my friend. Be careful. Maybe they'll use him against you. I'll keep that in mind. By the way, I have something to tell you about your concrete. Don't tell me him. Man, you rock. I don't know where they are, but they've been used as a sarcophagus. A sarcophagus? Like the one for Tutankhamun? Did you smoke <laughs> something, Fox? Of course not. I mean a thick container to contain radiation. Radiation? Please tell me they're not nukes. They are, from a sunken Soviet submarine. Shit. That's why there's so much secrecy and surveillance. Cheer up, Robert. Your capture isn't for something trivial anymore. It's for a nuclear arms race. Fuck, fuck, fuck! This news is the bomb! That's a literal way to say it. Keep me informed, my friend. I want to know all the deets. I will, Robert. Over and out. Mm hmm. Des armes nucléaires? Mm hmm. 
Attends, c'est un truc de recyclage, ça <rire> I finally located a recycling bin. I've been needing one for a while. Why the hell did you need a recycling bin? To get rid of some stuff. But couldn't you just toss them on the ground? Are you taking me for some sort of shitbag? You were behind enemy lines. It wouldn't be unreasonable. Look, Lieutenant, I don't abandon my principles at the first sign of adversity. I see. Now, why did you get rid of items that may be handy later? Because the more stuff you have, the more you're a slave to your own possessions. And nothing enslaves me. So, I threw away everything that I didn't need. An act that's common to minimalists such as yourself. Minimalist? Me? Where'd you get that stupid idea? Take a look at yourself. You look angry and disappointed. As if you're having minimalist intercourse. How dare you! Relax, Sergeant. It's obvious what Mr. Fox is trying to do. We've been here for a long time. We're tired, even slightly agitated. Mr. Fox is trying to take advantage of that by getting on my nerves with petty insults. Hoping I attack him and provide an officer misconduct charge that enables him to be set free. But that is not going to work, Mr. Fox. Look, I'm used to interrogating assholes like you. Fuck. You got me, officer. I underestimated you. Fuck. I have to admit that you're very good. Uh, well, thanks. I'm, uh... <clears throat> yeah, well, uh, let's continue. You said that you got rid of some items. Wow, on a tout jeté <rire> J'ai plus rien Une clé Tiens Une clé bleue Euh... Est-ce que je peux remonter par là Est-ce que j'aurais trouvé la clé du... Du submarine Regardons ça. Clé. After putting the key in the lock and turning it, the sub started to move. I took the mini submarine through underground channels beneath the hangar. Seriously? Now you can drive mini submarines? Nope. Never done it before in my life. But I found a manual. Can you read Russian? Of course not. It was in English. The mini submarine was American. It was a pretty smooth ride. I didn't have to worry about the battery levels, oxygen, or depth. And the inside was very comfortable. I could practically live in there. Huh. Well, of course. It's an American product. What did you expect? <laughs> yeah, but you know how American vehicles are. They practically explode on contact. Ever seen an action movie? Anyways, that's why I avoided any hard collisions. Oh, bordel. D'accord. Alors attends. Gauche, droite, haut, bas pour déplacer le sous-marin. trop vite
qu'est-ce qu'il y a ici Des toilettes. Bah j'ai bien fait de venir Ouais, je les ai enlevés les trois, hein, je me connais.
You had to feel lonely, locked in that submarine underwater. Nah, I had some company. Oh no! Oh no! J'ai plus de vie! Et voilà. Ah, bah c'est cool, j'ai heureux de la vie. Locked in that summer. to feel lonely. Defeated. Et j'ai mal joué parce que j'ai compris la technique et j'aurais pu le faire en... En one shot. J'ai cru que je pouvais monter. En fait, au milieu, c'était le bon. Non, mais je teste, hein, je teste. Stage complete. I ended up in what looked like a dock. There were containers and stuff. The sea was slightly rough. Oh, and there was a storm. Euh, bah la clé je peux ranger. Euh, c'est dommage ils ont pas mis ils l'ont pas mis longtemps le. Under the rain and the fighting marine. cold, the colonel's fate gnawed at my mind. According to Robert. They were moving him. Was it a routine inspection? Would he be returned to his cell? Would they find the radio? He was an old, annoying, tiresome man. But I feared for his life. Until the radio chimed in. It was Channel 1. Colonel, what happened? Are you okay? I'm fine, Mr. Fox. Thank you for asking. But my rank is General, not Colonel. Wait. You're... General X? So, Mr. Fox, have you heard? You've become quite the celebrity. I've been dying to meet you since your debut. So I took this hack job of a radio to call you before your inevitable capture. Where's the Colonel? Don't worry about him. He's in good hands. Say hello, Colonel. Fox, run away! Don't listen to this bastard! Get your hands off me, you fucking moron! Colonel! Seniors say such silly things. I join him in wishing you a happy escape, but you know too much. Sooner or later, you will make a mistake. One that'll prove fatal. We'll see about that, General. Ils ont capturé le colonel. Ils vont me torturer.
salaud. Je sais pas si je dois aller là ou si je dois aller en haut. Ah bah. Voilà en haut. Hein. Ah bah je vais pouvoir sauvegarder. Alors, comment je vais faire pour, euh, pour capturer les deux Ah oui, mais maintenant je vais beaucoup plus vite Je le fais exprès parce que j'aime pas quand je me fais repérer. Euh... Il y a quoi en bas Un mec avec un bateau. Au moins j'ai fait le truc. She's a lovely ship. Indeed. And flies like the wind or the waves. Is she yours? She is. I look after her like a treasure. I want to buy her. <laughs> This beauty costs 50 million dollars. I doubt you can afford it. Just 50 million? I'm a few dollars short. 
Hold on. I'm going to the ATM. This escape was going to cost me a lot of money. So I searched in the containers. Why in the containers? It's how people usually smuggle money. Cool, je fouille dans les... Attends, c'est bon là. Je dois fouiller où Quel conteneur C'est là, non Non. Interesting. Nothing interesting. D'accord. C'est dans les conteneurs comme ça que je dois fouiller. Je dois, je dois me coller, pas taper. Nothing useful. Euh ben, j'ai trouvé quoi J'ai trouvé. 10 millions de dollars en billets de 20, 50 et 100. millions de dollars ah oui comme il m'en faut 50 j'aurais dû attendre Les salauds. Tu as combien 40 millions de dollars On manque plus qu'un. Nothing interesting. 
Et voilà. 50 millions de dollars. the ship I would finally escape in. <laughs> Trouver 10 millions de dollars, ça va peut-être être utile. Voilà, comme ça au moins je refais pas toute la phase d'en bas. Nothing interesting. Are you telling me that a nuclear submarine attacked you? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I see. And now you're going to tell me you fought it instead of running away. Of course. I would have left it alone if it didn't launch its missiles. And nobody launches missiles at me without permission. <laughs> oh no, je me bats contre un nucléaire sub. Alors attends. Alors non seulement j'ai pas compris. J'avais fouillé les, les trois avant. D'accord, faut pas faire du bruit. 
Je le serai pour, euh, pour, une, pour une prochaine fois. <rire> C'est vrai que là-bas il y avait du soin. D'accord. Oh non mais... Mais comment je fais en plus quand je marche sur le feu euh... Non j'ai plus ma combi en plus. Je suis enfermé.
compliqué le, le sous-marin. D'accord, je sais ce que je vais faire. D'abord, je vais, je vais liquider ce qu'il y a au sol pour avoir de la place. Tu me pas dessus C'est chiant hein Terre. Là clairement, j'ai envie de m'énerver.
Oh non J'ai pu me... Attends... My triumph was fleeting. The platform collapsed after the ballistic abuse from all the missiles. She attacked first. Ah, then it was you. Thank you for revealing your position. Hey, Fox, are you there? Here I am, Robert. Fox, the comms are fucking lit. They're sending everything they have to the docks. What the hell did you do? I just sank a nuclear submarine. That'll teach it not to launch its missiles at me. Are you kidding me? I'm serious. Good thing it wasn't armed with nuclear warheads. They must be saving them for Operation Jericho. Speaking of nukes, hearing a lot of chatter that they're prepping there to the Omega building. Man, if you don't stop them, there's gonna be a worldwide bloodbath. I won't be stopping them. But who else will? I don't care, Robert. Right now, I don't need to be recruited by another colonel to save the world. Right now, I just need to save my ass. And the moment I find anything, even a pull float, I'm getting the hell out of here.
J'ai presque plus de soins. Nothing interesting. Je vais faire. Inside that hangar, I found what I was looking for. Boats I needed to escape. There was a Zodiac motorboat and a hovercraft. The Zodiac was the faster and more maneuverable choice in the water. But hovercrafts were versatile and could pass over terrain where Zodiacs could not. Attention, sérieux, me demande de choisir. As I checked the hovercraft, I found out that. RSV, c'est quoi? Its gas tank was empty. Oh. As I checked the Zodiac, I found out that. The string to start the engine was missing. Ah, euh, bah non, on va prendre ça, hein. Alors, gauche, droite pour se déplacer, RT pour tirer des missiles. Le Black Thunder. Et de deux.
tellement je l'ai défoncé. Non mais dis donc. Ah mais si du. The confrontation with that chopper exhausted every drop of gas I had left. With no gas, the engine stopped shortly thereafter. Despite the dangers, I used my own arms to paddle forward. Piranhas and crocodiles constantly tried to eat my hands. But I was lucky enough to make it to a small dock. You're certainly a lucky man, Mr. Fox. those bastards of course not I'm a very nice guy by the way what are you doing those bastards won't stop building fences everywhere they think the jungle is theirs so I uh, cut them to fuck with them <laughs> do you have by any chance a van to get out of here I had one but they took it away the old man told me a few stories about that place It was isolated, with no roads or towns nearby. And most importantly, he told me about what I might encounter up ahead. Bon. On va se retaper des bêtes, des trucs. There, hidden in the middle of the jungle, stood a compound riddled with cameras. Encore? The level of security was sky high, like the mansion of a cartel boss, and I could see why. Because the center of this fortress was the Omega building, the heart of Operation Jericho. Ah. The old man told me that he saw some helicopters landing on top of the building. If I stole one of them, that would be my ticket out of there. One thing was for sure. If I was detected by a camera and the alarm triggered, they would put the Omega building in lockdown and I could kiss those helicopters goodbye. But none of that matters because even though I was already showing signs of exhaustion, I slid in like a shadow and managed to go undetected. Did you say that the alarm never sounded? You're contradicting yourself. Sergeant, execute this liar. Yes, sir. The door was locked and chained. There was nobody outside, so finding the key for the lock wasn't an option. I could cut the chain with a bolt cutter, but where would I find one? Hello, friend. Give me that bolt cutter. But it's it's mine. Now it's mine. Mais pourquoi pourquoi il a tapé le vieux? Je sais pas. J'aurais pu lui acheter. J'ai 10 millions de dollars dans ma poche. Wait, wait, wait. Are you saying that you stole from some defenseless old man? You're a special sort of monster. What? Me? No, 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 no. I paid him. When I said it was practically highway robbery, I meant... Hello, friend. Hello, Gramps. I want to buy that bolt cutter. But it's mine. How much are you willing to pay? Here are some coins. It's little money, pal. Oh, look. I also have 10 million dollars. Okay. 10 million dollars. You're welcome, kid. 
Je me suis rendu compte que j'avais plus de pièces. Ah. Vous savez quoi On va s'arrêter ici pour aujourd'hui. Euh... Et on fera la fin euh, la prochaine fois. Ouais. Donc j'espère que ça vous a plu. C'était un peu tendu au début. Je vous l'accorde. Mais euh, finalement je m'en suis sorti. Et puis, euh, puis les boss, ça a été tendu, mais euh, mais finalement, je les ai passés. Donc, je vous dis à très bientôt pour de nouvelles aventures. Prenez soin de vous. Et à ciao les amis.